Hey guys, yep, the little demo on this 660. That's what 180 PSI. Got 180 pounds of compression. Rings aren't even seated in yet. Now this is that highway cylinder. I did something similar. So I did that squish band flat like that. Okay. So yeah, that's that was a junky farmer tech cylinder. And all I did was I reset these transfers. Working on this one. See that bottom one there? I think that's pretty decent. This one needs finished. Sunlight glare. It's pulling at so your transfers aim it so it goes this way instead of across the that will greatly increase your torque and performance. Okay, guys, this is 180 psi. Um, exhaust roost 98 intakes about 78 transfers are 120 it's just where everything ended up this cylinder was so terrible and I just took my time in it and obviously JB welded the intake it shows you, you can get something junk running pretty I think it runs pretty good that's with a two and a half degree uh, flywheel key wonder if I go to four what that would do. I'm curious. Because like at the uh, other cylinder, there's there's the short block off my uh, 660. I don't have room for other saws, so that's what I had to do. Because <laughs> I wanted to be able to mess around with these 660s. So I got four cylinders. So I guess I can put a little smiley face on this cylinder. And uh, yeah, it's been kind of hectic. I really had, uh, like some of you guys, I haven't really had time to really watch too much uh, internet. I haven't really been watching too much. And I think, I'm not 100% sure, I was so out of it because I had food poisoning and just all that stuff. I think... I think Fab's Acres, I think I won a saw, but I was like, I didn't enter any contests. I was kind of like half asleep. I'm like, huh? But I thought, I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, I guess I missed that. But that's, you know, that's the way my luck's been. It's been like from hell lately. My crankshaft breaking on my truck and just been hectic. But anyway, yeah. I'm 660s, that's where the power is on these. If you can take them transfer ports, I may take this out of here, but if you can carve them, this one's not quite done yet. If you can carve this, shape it, do your uh, get your velocity up, and uh, it, it'll, it'll run pretty good. This is with 288 piston I'm going to be putting in this because the transfers are a little bit too wide. Is a chip and uh, fix the free porting issues, but uh, yeah, we're gonna see what this does eventually. But I'm pretty happy with this cheapy farmer tech cylinder with a uh, it's got one of them Duke's pop up pistons. And you can, if you get your piston weights right, it is a smooth run and saw these 660s. You just have to work on your piston weights. Get them about 85 grams, somewhere in there, maybe lighter, if if you can on some pistons. I do have an OEM lightweight pin in there. That's got the highway crank. Seems pretty good. Seems real good. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, it is a smooth running saw if you get your piston uh, weights just right. With the bar on it, all. If you run the bar, it's smooth. It don't vibrate. But uh, yeah, thought I'd give you a little cutting video there. I ain't did one in a good while. Like I said, it's been pretty, pretty hectic. And uh, and uh, yeah, I haven't, like I said, I haven't really had a chance to watch too many of you guys' videos. For I did a little bit Smitty, but I really haven't. A lot of times I get home late and time I turn a computer on 
watch it part way in a video. I'm I'm a fall asleep. Fell asleep. So yeah. Hey guys. Till next time. Hey, keep feeling the heat. <laughs>